Style or expression, as it may also be referred to, is the middle of the canons and allows the language to fit to the situation, so it must not share the same treatment as us middle and at times forgotten children. Cicero defines the canon style as being the process of fitting the proper language to the invented matter. In other words, this canon is concerned with the wording one uses and how they use it. it, is the sewing together of language to send the desired message to an audience. Thus, it is important to know one's audience to help shape the message. Which words will be received the best by this specific audience when sending a particular message? Certain words naturally will hold more power than others, but some words may be completely meaningless to an audience who may have never heard a certain word or phrase. When speakers consider style, they will need to focus on the word flow and how they will be able to speak the words. They may use more plain and concise language to avoid being too wordy and confusing. Speakers also have the advantage of having an audience in front of them, so they will, for instance, know if a certain word needs to be defined based on the reaction of their audience. Writers, however, have the benefit of being able to use longer sentences and not having to worry about pronouncing the words they use. But they still must ensure clarity, having less obvious means of adding a physical or vocal effect to a word, and they do not have an audience in front of them, allowing them to immediately see the impact their words have on them. As a first-year composition teaching assistant, I frequently run into the issue of making sure my students understand what it is they are learning. For example, my students had to learn how to write a literature review. This is explained to them as being a form of writing that gives a synthesis of what other scholars have previously written on the topic you are researching or writing about. This is very difficult for students to understand and frustrating at times. So I explained to my students that a literature review is a web or a map that one creates to indicate where one scholar says something, where one may say another, and how they connect or branch away from each other. Maps describe how to get from point A to point B, and webs connect ideas. So these common words allowed my students to understand the function of a literature review. Of course, a speaker or writer must also ensure that the language they use will allow their message to stick. This brings us to the next canon, memory, which Erica will discuss with you all.